hey guys welcome back to another video so in our previous video we understood like how we are able to fetch data from our static resource and how to display that data in our lightning web component so our books component was up till here the book name author name and the price is okay and we were having the issue with the images like only one image is displayed uh, because uh, uh, all these images are in the static this and we are just referencing this one image so now there are some questions that we should uh, ask from ourselves while we are developing any code so the main funda is that we are not limited to this books component only why because we want to search functionality over in here to the left panel and over to that search we want to display the list of books to the right hand side okay so that means with the search the book would change as well as everything that means from the book cover the title author name uh, the price language category everything would change okay so at this point of time uh what do you think is the is this the best approach uh, to fetch data from static resources uh so the answer here is no why because let me explain you basically what is the thing is like from static resources why are you putting the things in static resources so that you could uh, utilize them at some instant of time so what does your salesforce say about the static resource uh, is that uh, we have we have to store those images only that are um, static across the content that means that is not changing uh, from time to time or from query to query these are the uh, same these would remain same like that could be our background logo Uh, we could have uh, that in the back end or we could have some photograph that uh, uh, that is uh, an independent entity not uh, dependent on some other entity over uh, its existence uh, like all these images could be uh, could have stored in this and the books component why we are not storing because when we would be completing our left panel that is your search bar na then there would uh, be a dependency of this and other component so in order to have a sync between these two components uh, there lies a question that how you all would uh, think over this so give yourselves 2 minutes and think over the problem okay so now we would be discussing over the solution like what could be uh, done in here okay now there exist some approaches like uh, there are basically two approaches that we could uh, cater from here one is from your uh, document uh, tab and other is from your object tab only so what am i trying to say is like this is your object manager and the books component is in okay so this is your book component the fields and relationship what we would be doing is we would be creating a, a rich text area type field so cover image i am going the name so guys i have added my uh, custom field that is the cover image in here now what i would be doing i would be uh, popping all the uh, books uh, uh, with the, the associated covers okay so and now we would be applying the same for the
okay guys so we have added all this fields here now what we would be doing is uh, we would be uh, uh, adding this field to the dev console as well so this is a rich text area field uh, so i would be adding cover image field in here so our cover image field would be added in here now what we would be uh, doing is we would be uh, just calling this our, uh, web component and we would be displaying the data accordingly so let us see that how we would 